Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams, and I want to spend a couple of minutes talking about lambda, or the mean of the Poisson distribution. We know that the mean of a Poisson distribution is proportional to the interval of occurrence. And remember that this Poisson distribution applies to intervals of time and distance and space. The problem is, is that because the mean is proportional to the interval of occurrence, if we look at an interval other than the original interval that helped us establish the value of lambda, it requires us to make an adjustment. I think it's easier with an example. So it's been established that the average number of defects per 100 yards of fabric is 10, and the occurrence of the defects follows a Poisson distribution. What this means is, as long as we're looking at an interval of 100 yards, then that value of the mean remains fixed at 10. So every 100 yards, we would expect to see 10 defects. We look at another 100 yards, 10 more defects. But what if we're looking at something other than 100 yards? This is where we talk about adjusting the value of lambda or the mean. So we originally looked at an interval of 100 yards and it l yielded us an average, or a lambda, equal to 10 defects. Well, what if I only want to look at 50 yards? Well, that's half of my original interval of 100, and so guess what? My average is now 1 half of that original value of lambda. Well, how about if I look at 200 yards? Well, that's 2 times my original interval, and you guessed it, lambda is now 2 times what it originally was, and now it's 20. I only want to look at 25 yards, and that's fine. That's 1 quarter of an interval, so I simply take 1 quarter of my original mean of 10, and now I should see 2 and a half defects. And if I go crazy, and I want to look at 300 yards, well, that's 3 times the original interval of 100, and yep, you guessed it. Now, lambda is 3 times that original value of 10. So you simply adjust up and down based on the proportion of that original interval that was used to determine that original value of the mean. Remember that one simple rule of adjusting the value of the mean up and down based on your interval? And you should have this no problem. I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.